all right so now what we want to do is to create the dynamic routes and for example when you click on this link it will redirect you to article and then the title which has been converted to a slug but as you can see we are getting a 404 error because this page was not found because we haven't created it all right so we will create we will create those dynamic routes now head on to your vs code and then inside the page we will create a folder called article so everything everything inside this page will be accessed by your website.com slash article now to create a dynamic route you will use square brackets and then here you can type in article and then dot js export default function article and then it can return something let's say all right so this will return something now what we want is on each request we will fetch the data from our backend cms so this gets called on each request so this is the next js function and it's an async function so this will be get server side props and now you can write your request here now what we have to understand is how the querying works in dynamic routes so whenever whenever you do a dynamic routing request for example we have article slash and then a dynamic route so this thing is dynamic dynamically generated so this slug is dynamically generated and you can and you can request it in your code like this so if you type in context then you can obtain const article is equal to await now we are away we are fetching this now we are fetching this from the back end and we will use the function called get by uid and the uid uh, get by uid and what kind of article what kind of item you are searching for that is article custom type and inside actually and then inside here you will type the uid so the uid is uid is this slug so you can obtain it by using the context thing and then you can type in context dot query dot article um, now you can return it as an object so you will type in props and then object and then article will be article and now you can access this article here so you will destructure it as article and then you can map it and do whatever you want but here it is a single object so you don't have to map it and now one thing that you need to do is to import a few things like rich text from um, prismic java prismic uh, react js and uh, other than this you will also have to import the layout from components slash layout and another thing that you want is import link from well next link okay so let's do stuff here and we already have access to the articles so we'll be returning something here so first of all clear this and use parenthesis and then type in layout and then you can type in div and the div will have a few classes this would be width 2 by 3 so it will take only two third of the whole width of the page and then we will use mx auto so as to center it horizontally and then we will use a h1 and inside it we will have a class name and what we want is to have a 3 xl text so and other than that we will have uppercase and font bold and opacity 50 and margin y of 10 and now we will use rich text to render it so we will use rich text dot render and then we will use article 
dot data dot title and after that we will use image and of course the source is going to be article dot data dot feature underscore image dot url and yes you can write here anything um after the image has been done we will also need a few classes for the images for example we will use shadow maybe um, extra large shadow that would do fine and then margin bottom of 20 other than this we will also need a h1 and the classes that we can use here is going to be text large and opacity maybe 75 and inside the h1 we will be using rich text to render it rich text dot render and inside it we will be using article dot data dot we can use here full dash article and after h1 we can use a link to um, go back to the home page so we will use href and we can write here button and this will be back to home and then we can use um, a space before we put anything else so non-breaking space and then we can use an emoji here so for emoji press windows and period so for emoji you can type in windows and so for emoji you can type windows and period and then you can use um back let's see what we get so yeah this button and let's have a few classes here so what one class is bg black and text white padding y3 padding x10 Padding X 10, margin Y 4, um, and we can use text to size large and uppercase, of course. So let's see um, how this looks. So now we are fetching this article from the slug. So yeah, it works. And let's see how it actually happened. I will just explain it once more how this is taking place. So, okay. So when you go to uh, art to a website, so you have, you are here at index, and then you are mapping. So I'll explain how this is going to work. So you are at their index, and inside the index, you are querying your client to give all the article document types of article and then when you have got the array you are mapping over the results array and then you are also posting a link so link is actually the the type the link you are passing is actually the article uid which is the slug and then when you go to article slash this thing this is a dynamic route so how are dynamic routes handled is actually here so you have articles folder and then you have uh, article.js so each time an article.js that is a dynamic route like this is accessed you get um, get server side prop and then you get a context so in context to add query gives you the slug that is being passed in the dynamic route so now using that uh, query you can query your backend server that is the prismic cms to get that particular article by the uid once you have done you are returning that article and then you are destructuring that article here and then you are using that article's data to render the article so this is how it works and now you can create another dynamic route that would be um, inside the pages that would be trending and inside it you will have a dynamic route of trending.js it is going to be quite similar to this but there will be a few changes uh, first off, this would be um, a trending type of art, trending part, uh, 
first off this will be a trending type of item and uh, okay so first off this will be a trending type of item so you will get context um, this will be trending and context dot query dot trending okay so now that is done you will have article and you will pass it as article that is fine and now you can destructure the article but there is a difference between how the article basic article is structured and how a trending article is structured so these are these are things will change we don't have a feature image in a trending article and we, there is a few different there are a few differences so first off it is a h1 but this is not title we have actually named it headline and then we have and then we have a h1 of rich text dot render and then what we can render is article dot data dot info and the h1 will have a few classes that will be text excel and opacity 75 so it should work let's check out and here we can go back to the home all right so we went back to the home and now we can check the trending for example this one and it's going to take some time because this is being built right now <laughs> let's see if this is working so we are redirected to trending slash the slug that slug is generated from here and now we are getting the getting the small article that we wanted now we can go back to the home yeah it's working so so this is how you can create the articles and now we have dynamic routes for both main articles and the trending articles in the next video we are going to deploy it to the virtual platform